which is in town to promote the New Year's Eve showdown between Northwestern and Utah at the cred. You can see the entire conversation at KUSI.com. Here's an excerpt. Now, your offensive line coach, if I, I ha, this happened today, right? Adam Cushing accepted the Eastern Illinois job. Do you all lose Adam, or does he stay through the Holiday Bowl? Oh, did that really happen today? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, no, we're fired up for Adam. He's been with us for 15 years, and, uh, yeah, he'll stay on. He'll work for the Cats, and then uh, he'll work for the Panthers at night. All right, uh, Coach Whittingham, one of the storylines this New Year's Eve matchup is going to be your defense against the Wildcats' high-octane offense. What about what they do presents you the biggest challenge? Well, I know they have an outstanding quarterback, outstanding receiver. Uh, they're physical, they're hard-nosed, but to be honest with you, I haven't been able to do a, a real deep dive yet on, on the schematics. You know, we're busy recruiting right now and trying to trying to get those uh, recruits wrapped up and signing days next week. So, so we'll get uh, full on into our game planning this weekend. All right, before we continue, I want to extend a warm welcome to the Office of Traffic Safety. The OTS is campaigning against distracted driving and using alternative transportation when you're out partying too much. We're proud to be associated with both campaigns and honored that the Office of Traffic Safety is choosing KUSI Sports to spread the word. Meanwhile, why don't we say we get going here? How about some prep sports? Boys hoops, two top ten teams. St. Augustine taking on Torrey Pines. The Falcons take the lead early. Michael Pope with a team-high 32. But Saints point guard Tyson McWilliams, a two-sport star, drives the lane, scores to get St. Augustine within four. Then it's Chibuza Agbao putting an explanation point on his 33-point performance. A monster dug. The Saints come back to win it. The final score, 67-260. Feels great, you know, just to come out and prove that, you know, we were ranked number three uh, on some pre-ranking, so had to come out and prove that we can compete with the best. It was fun, you know, they're a really good team and they're going to be uh, probably one of our competitors in an uh, open division championship, so, you know, it's going to go back and forth between us and it was nice to, nice to beat them. In the consolation game of the North County Classic at San Marcos hosting Vista Panthers, the Knights gem out to a double-digit lead thanks to freshman point guard Devin Arlington. He had 17. The Panthers counter with Jordan Hillstock. He banks that one in from beyond the arc for three of his 19. But Chris Howell scores it early and off, and that's how you do it. He had 23. The Knights run away the final 74. 48. Out east, Grand Hills welcomes in Point Loma in the first quarter. The pointers, Blake Ledbetter, comes from behind for the block on the fast break. Watch this. Whoa. Third quarter, the Eagles, McKay Roberts, drains the NBA three and finishes with a game-high 30. Point Loma counters with Dane Wallamont. He had a team-high 19, 68-63. Point Loma on top. In girls' hoops now, we go to OLP where the Lady Pilots are hosting El Camino. El Camino, Aliyah Anderson converts the fast break with a layup for two over 12. The Lady Wildcats build a 14-point cushion early, but here comes OLP's Bailey Gaylor. She drives and scores two over 18. The Lady Pilots cut the margin to three, but then Ariel Smallwood answers for the Lady Wildcats. She drives and scoops in two over two, two over 19, excuse me, and El Camino holds on for 54. 45 victory on the girls' soccer pitch. The Bishop School taking on San Diego in the Holiday Jubilee Girls Soccer Tournament in the ninth minute. Bishop's Alicia Wynn boots the free kick over the keeper's head. 1-0 at this point. Lady Knights goalkeeper Kendall Lincoln makes the diving save, keeping the Lady Mustangs off the ball. Way to go, Kendall. Bishops hold on to a 1-0 victory in pool play, continuing the rest of the week. The 29th edition of the Alex Spanos All-Star Classic is scheduled for Saturday afternoon at Mesa College. Ron Gladnick and Scott Longerbone chatting up the big game on the 6 p.m. Sportscast. Any wing T offense in the uh, North portfolio this week? Absolutely. I wouldn't want to disappoint Scott. <laughs> well, you know, we, we have Scott here. He's watching. Listen, you tell Scott what you told me. We're filming all your practices. <laughs> do you put in your offense, or do you put in a whole different scheme? I mean, well, how do you do it? I don't know. Ask Ron. He's been watching all my practices. So. <laughs> From a head coach's point of view, and I'm sure Scott would feel the same way, if I could have this group of kids every single year for the rest of my coaching career, <laughs> I'd win a lot of CIF titles. <laughs> so, you know, it's a great opportunity to see great players play at a high level. I would encourage, you know, any of the fan, any just football fans, come to the game and check it out because – it's, it's fun to coach him. I can't wait to see him play on the big stage. 
$5 for kids, $10 for adults. All the money goes to the High School Sports Association. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, the worm may finally have turned against those Patriots, the two lateral, two lateral miracle in Miami is next. But first, here's Allison Emmons in the ASR Plays of the Week. Support Plays of the Week really does encompass all sorts of sports. We start on the wrestling ring in the 182-pound final. The Mavericks' Joe Curtis calls this a Granby roll to a Peterson roll. I don't know what it means, but it counts for the pin and the win, as well as a nomination as candidate number one for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. Over at St. Augustine, some rugby action from a pair of Saintsmen. Here's Jake Armena with an impressive run as he breaks loose from most of his defenders and comes down just short. But luckily, his teammate Michael Cross gets the ball and finishes the run to complete the try. Jake and Michael are candidates number two and 2A for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. Now, we were originally going to put Brad Yosakochi up for his acting skills. Every day we live, yeah, every day we live. Oh, yeah. But decided to put him up for his basketball prowess instead as he makes his one handed layup for the score. Brad is candidate number three for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. And we finish up in the pool with the Mustangs' Elena Pena, who wrestles this ball loose from the goalie to successfully score the goal for one of her three on the day. Elena is candidate number four for the All Sports Report Play of the Week. The fate of these athletes is now in your hands. Vote for your favorite play on the KSI Sports Facebook page, at KSI Sports on Twitter, and at KSI Sports on 